Welcome back, everybody. Match number two here on uh, the first RGN channel. Again, we do have Nylum vs. Heatstars going live on GoRGN TV 2. And, uh, and you can definitely check that out as this match, honestly, both matches, lots of implications here as Mousepads vs. Tempo. Whoever wins this match on Mirage is making it through to bracket stage. So big, big results coming out of whoever makes it work here. So that even puts a lot of pressure here on this knife round as we can see a three on three underway. But uh, again, I'm sprawling by my side, Laser Jesus. And what are you thinking here on Mirage? I guess, again, side choice a little bit. Now that you know most Mousepaz is able to choose, what are you thinking here, uh, Laser? Um, they're gonna go CT and this is a tough one to call. Obvious favorites being Tempo. Both teams playing with the backup though. That's what makes it interesting. So whose backup's really gonna perform? We just saw Toy play earlier in our uh, win outside of things. And now Tempo just coming off a win over win out. So, and Mouse Baz just beating win out not too long ago, pretty handedly. So, they're going by chain logic. Should be a close one. But I like uh, Mouse Baz's chances a lot more than I liked win outs. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Again, we even saw win out dropping on cobblestone to Mouse Baz. And uh, hence the current scoreline we're at in the group one and one for both most fast and tempo and this being the last match this is uh it's all for uh all for this match so we'll see how it goes as most pass again on their ct side and again just to highlight toy being on the the ct side and we actually saw him earlier on if you were watching the win out qualification stuff we're on the nexus sign taking a 2-0 victory against win out but Tempo Storm again coming off of their recent win over Win Out. So some similarities there as you now Tempo into the go on their pistol round. Looks like they're going to send three players just towards A and one top mid, as well as uh, it's going to be Shazam looking to make a little bit of noise towards B Apartments. Yeah, that's the plan so far. I guess uh, Polly said he was going to stream the match and then fell asleep. Sounds like a great Awkward. TV right there. That's hilarious. Both teams. Having some fun with that, but Mouse Pass going for a mid stack here. Nobody home for Tempo. Shazam thinking about approaching. Now opts to join his teammates inside of A. Mouse Pass getting a little suspicious. Their B player is pushing up. If Tempo Storm doesn't execute soon, Mouse Pass is going to have this bomb site entirely stacked. Oh, yeah. You see Fruit and Toy already making an up connector, peeking towards ramp and such. So, yeah, stacked bomb site here as Imsta has made his way almost to T spawn. Finally, they're going to show their cards as. Smokes rain out for the T side here, but again, two near connector, two near CT spawn already, and a quick flank. This is fantastic for Mouse Spaz, but Shazam, he is going to make it difficult for them. Two frags in CT spawn, still boy to deal with near sandwich, and there we go. Imps out in the flank, two on three is both of them going to line up here near CT spawn. Yeah, and they got USPs to work with now, so range game a little easier. That's Shazam with three so far. Make it four. We could be seeing the ace here. Just got to find Fruit. No, Fruit ends his reign. And now the one versus one, one by Stannis Law. Mouse pass. That sucks. <laughs> they had the, they had 100% the right read on that situation. But if, if you can't deal with uh, a player that's hot with the Glock, I, that's the way she crumbles, I guess. So unfortunate for Mouse pass there, because they, they did everything right uh, strategically. Yeah, they really did. Had a great situation, but able to make it work there. Shazam comes up massive, and now anti-eco territory, but we actually see a forced up by here from the CT side. So five sevens across the board. Imsta, the lone scout, as he's going to head over towards that jump spot and B towards the apartments. Very popular angle to work with that weaponry. Mid control here from Tempo Storm. Rick's coming up from underpass, and looks like they're going to put some pressure already up the nectar. Toy might be able to work something from Cad here. Zek getting in Huge engagement. Eventually, Shazam gets the better end of it. He's to switch to his pistol to do so. As Stanislaw follows it up on a toy, and you have two players make it one inside of this bomb site to deal with. Fruit underneath uh, the balcony here, and he does take some players low, finds a frag as well, but it's going to be the end of the round. Only one frag comes in, and I wonder if the position is a little bit different. It said they put that scout mid, can tag up some players, might be a different result. But again, obviously, you're going to play where you're comfortable. And in that situation, uh, it was the B apartments that they wanted to position them in. Yeah, it's, it's so hard to choose where to put that scout because you could put it pretty much anywhere on this map and it could have a, a good effect with the exception of upper B pushing or pushing anywhere, that is. But I suppose it holds true anywhere. And now Tempo Storm slowly approaching out of stairs 
And trying to get a little peeky inside of the halls is Fruit, but he's dealt with by Rix. Looking to follow it up with his teammate Demise, but Rix says it's time to stack my score a little bit. And Shazam, they're just getting so aggressive here. Shazam and Rix. No surprise to me that both of these players just want to stampede and just throw themselves at their opponents. Just, I guess that's just how they are stylistically. Yeah, definitely has. Now Toy and him still left to try and gather some weapons here. Toy's going to spot Darky inside of the counter. Takes him down with a nice headshot there. And actually damages Rix. Almost takes him down. 20 hit, 3 hit points remaining, but we'll be able to clean up and only losing one member once again. Fantastic start here for Tempo Storm. Taking a pistol where, again, positionally, uh, it should have been a mouse pass round. But Shazam coming up massive and then... Two rounds thereafter, only losing a single member. Great things for the economic situation of the T side. As you can see, Shazam is actually going to hang on to that P90. Same with Rix. So uh, going to try and utilize those weapons a little bit further. We'll see if they're punished for it, as we do have M4s across the field for the CT side. The current setup, we've got uh, Fruit over towards stairs. Demise posted up in a nice, got a cheeky angle. Take a booth CT spawn and looking towards mid is Zek. So no one in window room currently, and not a surprise as they have smoked it off. Or not smoked off window room, but at least top of cat to allow them to get out. But here we go. Smoke's raining in. East side take from Tempo. And here they come. Entry frag so important here. They're trying to get even more ahead by hanging out of these P90s. Zek gets one. Demise looking to peek out from above. Fruit defending the plant. Oh my god, Fruit, that timing was just barely off. And Rex comes through and finishes them off. Demise still up from the spawn, though. And that smoke is now just about to fade. See if we can get it re-smoked up here from Tempo. They molly it off. Still trying to isolate Demise, he jumps through, 22 HP, loses the fight to Rick. And now just Imsta, one on three here, takes down the first two. It's time for the backup to step it up. Darky versus Imsta. Imsta's got to tap the bomb, and it's planted for Darky. This makes it really difficult. Darky decides to peek out, gets a position on Imsta. Imsta still looking lower. He had no idea where he was. That was bizarre. <laughs> Yeah, you'd think from uh, when Darky peeked out, but I don't think he spotted a peek out, and from way, the way the bullets kind of ricocheted near him, again, I think he thought it was A-Ramp, so he, misread there means that, quite honestly, Darky really had him in a checkpoint, checkmate position, and good stuff there was because he was flicking his crosshair, why he couldn't get his sound cue right, because sound yeah. should have gave everything away there. Right, great point as well. I don't know. I am not so sure as to why he didn't get that position, but... Nonetheless, Mouse Spaz going for an aggressive connector take here as they're actually going to trade fairly well for themselves, but just decides to continue on out. And it'll be a two on three as they haven't been able to secure rifle, but Demise on two Ricks. Now a two on two, and they're separated here. They can isolate one of these players and force an engagement. This might work out for them, but they both grab AKs, head back towards A. Now Tempo Storm. The question is, where do they go as they've got plenty of time to work with? This is a bit of a misplay by Tempo. Stan allowing Mouse Bass to get the AKs, but I suppose he didn't want to give up the advantage and put Shazam in a one versus two. But I would have liked for him to stay posted up at mid and just take the fights with the the inferior weapons. So AKs here. Are they gonna boost up into window? Yes, so here comes Fruit approaching from the catwalk. Bananas in the chat for Fruit as he makes his approach, and then Demise is gonna go straight into window here. So I guess I like this. They are splitting up. They have to make it past Shazam. He's posted up, waiting for the upper take. Now gets the flank on the Demise, misses his shot. Stan hits his, so does Shazam. And Mouse Spaz drop another one. However, that was an eco, and they made it really close. Tempo Gaming just, they basically just threw numbers at each other right there at mid. That's exactly what happened as they tried to just bully their way through the connector on that CT side. Again, it ended up working out pretty well for them, but in that late round situation, not able to retake the bomb site as Tempo moves up to a quick 5-0 here. T side Mirage, that's a great score line for them this early. Let's them kind of breathe easy. Not seem to be said for the Mouse Spaz side as they just haven't been able to get anything started here. And the positioning for them in this round, Zek gonna be aggressively working Catwalk with an AWP to note as well. So if he can spot someone out here, he's going to be flashed off of that position, falls back into window. But it's toy to take down one, trade it off. But Zek able to take down Darky. So his advantage here to the CTs. Now, how does Tempo play it now that they are down a player? And it looks like they're going to uh, just push the ammo with this off aggressive and actually drop Steamize there. So evens things back up. Apparently, that's what they require. And this battle at mid, Rick's got to finish off Zach. Fruit comes in, and the rest of Tempo is not in position to help their team make out. Or team make out. 
Okay, that's not what I meant, guys. But <laughs> Javan here in a two-on-two -two along with his teammate, Glorence. And we have lost a member of Mouse Spaz, but it's not one of the players that was alive. Shazam, oh, taking the fight versus Zach, but Gloran is going to finish him off. So, Fruit here, one on two. One bullet apiece for Tempo to take him out. Shazam with his AWP now is going to be able to post up onto Fruit when he does come on through. And I like what Tempo Storm is doing here. They don't want to take the fights, so they go hyper passive. And Fruit, all he has to do is make it past this AWP as Shazam. Yeah, we'll see here as he slowly lurks towards Connector and it's currently smoked off, but it is going to dissipate as he slowly just backpedals mid. So it means in my eyes he's saving. I, I, the fact that he goes up on a catwalk, maybe he'll peer into A and actually does spot Shazam once again. Not able to capitalize as grabs and up and drops it again, but grabs it once again and <laughs> will leave ladder room eventually just going to save but the downside is that they've made their way all the way into beast uh, bomb site and that means fruit uh, he is not going to be happy about that one as six to zero mouse baz uh, they they did have a bit of an advantage but once again tempo able to make it work against shazam evening things up and yeah and then in middle Tempo, just able to uh, secure these rounds so early, and Mouse Baz, I just, things are looking bleak here at 0 and 6. Yeah, they're just in the territory they just want to force by, desperately put rounds on the board. And Imsto, it's something funny to say, <laughs> CSGO, where you can get killed out of the server. Well, I don't know who killed him, but they got that magic touch right now. <laughs> and Mouse Baz, only with one player inside of B for the time being. Tempo Storm held at bay inside the tunnels. And trying to spam on through. I'm surprised Shazam didn't take any damage from that. His bullets just whizzing past his head. And the member of Mouse has really pushed up here. Toy has a big opportunity. But he's in a lot of danger at the same time. And it's going to be Tempo Storm, of course, who are just taking the advantage. Getting these entry frags. And should be another round for them here. Yeah, really good read in the situation. And they're actually going to fall back from here. Leaving Shazam inside of uh, B Apartment. Zek goes down as he was... Trying to make something work in underpass, and there we go, Shazam will get dropped, so Fruit able to capitalize, and this is going to be a 4 and 3 though, and they are way out of position for the rotation of the T side, as they are moving into the A bomb site, Stanislaw takes down a mid player, that's going to hurt their rotation even further, as we can see, Fruit going to have to go up into ladder room, go through window, just to make it over to jungle, they are going to have Imsta inside of CT spawn, and Stanislaw goes down in mid, so this is not done and over with yet, as Imsta pushes through the incendiary, rather Molotov, Darky 1v1 here has a player in jungle to deal with that's gonna be fruit he's got a 3k on the round is this gonna be mouse passes take it into a round it's not tempo and darky specifically coming up with a 2k in the round and fantastic work from him it means that uh mouse pass still yet to put a number on the board that's yeah, just heartbreaking when you bring it down to those situations when you claw your way back from a four versus five and you just can't finish off the one versus one so still that goose egg up Mouse Spaz desperately trying to crack it. They are going to save here and try to get a fully equipped round after losing their four spot in one. Tempo priming up for their A take. Let's see what they're isolating here with their smokes. They do throw down for connector. An interesting wall that they see. A little variation. Instead of throwing it deep in the connector, they provide a little wall. I think they're expecting oh, cool. a gun round from uh, Mouse Spaz though. But yeah, I, I like that variation of the smoke. Yeah, it's some, some cool stuff. Like you said, though, I think they were expecting a rifle round as well as on an anti-eco. You're almost giving them cover to work with when you're smoking yeah. into the bomb site like that. And you could see a couple frags coming in where that was kind of the opportunity they had. One from Triple Box there. But Imsta, he's going to come up on the flank. But Shazam already holding that angle. Actually, he's not so sure as to where he's going to be peeking from. So Imsta, if you can find a rifle here. Again, they're in a bleak situation where you never really want to be down eight rounds with zero to your CT half. Um, so this is looking really bleak, but Imsta, we'll see. Maybe he can grab a weapon, do some crazy business. He doesn't have a kid, so it would be just to save for the next round. And they're going to have lots of money in the next round anyhow. So Shazam takes him down with the Tech 9 and low HP as well. To note, and 8-0 to the score line. Double op setup. Nothing's working. Might as well uh, go with uh, some play that you haven't yet utilized. I don't think they've had this double op setup yet. They've only been testing out the Zek with that, and I think Catwalk was where he was previously positioned, so we'll see. Maybe the double op look is what uh, they require to start putting some rounds in and 
make this 8-7 is what they really want, but the, the T-side economy... Actually, they have made it a little bit close. Eight rounds in, and no one's floating over 10,000 on the T-side. It's not bad for Mount Spaz. Prop being rounds. <laughs> they, got, they got to win some rounds. Oh, yeah. The, when this when this double op setup is most effective is the first round that you use it. The first round that you, you know, deviate from the typical one op four rifle setup. So, is it going to help him out? Insta gives away one op, set, or one op positioning, and now Zek gets the trade, but oh man, not enough. So, Mouse Bad. Now I have to deal with a player down, Darky onto Fruit. Where's that op of Insta? It's entirely smoked off, trying to find a hole in the smoke, but the deviation from their setup doesn't work. And Zek did hit an op shot there, but the rest of his teammates had already died inside of their A bomb site. Tempo Storm doing a really good job of overwhelming. Okay. All right, Toy gets two, though. Keeping the economy Ooh. low, but Imsa here one on two. The, uh, his teammate just made this doable. Yeah, he certainly did, as there is a kit down on site as well. So he's going to go for it here. Can't blame him. 1v2. He'll test his luck, but he's going to get blindsided. Florence playing from a ramp, and that's honestly a fantastic... For that plant, for having one in CT and one ramp, that is so difficult to deal with. <laughs> as he, uh, he almost has to hunt for one of them in one of those locations before committing to any kind of even bomb tap. As soon as that bomb tap comes out, yeah, he might be focused on CT or ramp, but he's, there's no way he's getting the other guy there. He has to do a full 180 before he can get his crosshair aligned. So, good stuff from Tempo. Just uh, making it work with the post plant. Not, you know, letting uh, uh, Mouse Spaz get back into it by, again, a, a bit of a silly play. But here we go, Mouse Spaz aggressive on uh, the mid play, but eventually, Fruit goes down, and oh man, only Toy left. Came up with some uh, critical frags in that last round. He's got one for himself, now on a one on two. Be able to make this uh, work for him. Rick's spamming down into that smoke because he's down to 10 hit points. And the bomb carrier and Glorin's going all the way through T-spawn. So if Toy can take down Rick's before the bomb carrier shows up, that'll be massive. But he doesn't check towards jungle. And Rick's has his number. Takes him down. Tempo. There's no stop to this train. Yeah, this is just it's hard to watch at this point for Mouse Pass because they've had a lot of... That, that last round didn't look too bad. And that one versus two, it was looking promising for a second before... Check the wrong spot and the 50 50 guess coming out of connector. So many things that could have worked for Mouse Bats, but just Tempo Storm is massacring their way to victory. And now they want to go for a quick A take. Instead of setting up, they're just going to run up the ramp. They're going to, you know, wait till they're spotted and then bust on through. Wait a minute, though. Mouse Bats could very well get their first round here, but they've. They've faltered with so many advantages so far, and now they're not peeking together. Fruit goes down to do it with Nade. Glorin's looking for more. Zek does get one, but quickly traded off with his flank. This could be what decides the round here. Imsta, what you got? They're slowly lurking up towards a ramp. Shazam with Ricks inside of the bomb site, and their backs are completely turned to this flank. Shazam, he misses the shot, and now Shazam knows exactly where he's at. Imsta! Had a massive opportunity. He pushes a Molotov, and that's going to be a good way to surprise his opponent. And he takes the frag, Imsta. Hooey. <laughs> as close as it gets, as Imsta gives away his location, misses the spray. Wow, I can't believe he made it back through. But credit to him to make a chaotic play out of just rushes that incendiary or molotov rather and brilliant stuff from him to to shake up the round as he had already again if he just plays passive a ramp it should be tempo taking it but he decides to throw in a wild card and finally they put one on the board yeah it could have i can't even say that it, it's it could have come at a better time but they need to win out from here on sure they that got Nate, that wow. they got by with that one Oh, I, even, I missed it with it from Imsta. Yeah, Imsta with a critical one as they're all like at half hit points trying to rush through the fire. The flames into B, but Imsta not able to capitalize. Stanislaw kills himself to help out the CT side, but three on three as they are going to take control of the bomb site. Yeah, man, I, I, Stanislaw, I think I'll help you guys out a bit. Darky, oh, they pop flash into window. Great timing on that. Now Shazam just has to watch his flank, which he is aware of. Shazam should be able to hit this. No, he picks a weird <laughs> angle to hold, actually. Uh, I don't know if he was hoping to react to that or what, but still doable here for Mouse Spaz in a must-win round for me. Zach can't hit the shot on the darky, though the trade is there from Demise. Ricks now last player up for Demise to try to find no kit. Hopefully his teammates have one. Ricks playing this perfectly, not even allowing Demise to see him. Demise still wondering where Ricks could possibly be, but Tempo Storm are going to win the round via the bomb. 11-1. to the mouse pass, they only survived with one player on the round that they won, but there's that nade, Chad. 245 damage. 
My God. Yeah, he sailed that way into the back of the bee halls as soon as they were prepping. And uh, in all reality, with that amount of damage done that early on, you would expect potentially a CT-sided round, but once again, uh, Tempo, they bring it in when it really matters, and we can see that the CT side, their economy, completely busted up. They are salvaging, or scavenging, rather, for anything they can get. And it's going to be two scouts. Got one on toy. He's going to work. Working B apartments, demise towards CT spawn, but a smoke's gonna rain on in. And that is gonna bloom right underneath his feet here as Rix finds the first one as they break into the bomb site. It's gonna be uh, fruit from underneath the balcony once again. Fight here quite often though, and he's traded off. Again, good stuff from the tempo side as demise going for the jump scout inside of CT spawn. He's got toy with him as well, so two scouts to deal with inside of the spawn. Insta actually is gonna find his way towards the sandwich position. Lots of low T's. That's not going to make a difference as Tempo bring in yet another T-sided round. Yeah, with Mouse Pass going for the Force by here, their only other option is to keep forcing up or save for the next round, which you'll have a decent buy, barely. I guess that's the better route to take. But now Fruit going to force up, and in a really late part, now his teammates are scrambling to buy. If, if Tempo Storm rush out mid quickly, they're going to be able to get out there for free. Not a good look for Mouse Baz here. I'm thinking about peeking mid as Zek. Uh, this is ill-fated, if you ask me, but still taking up the catwalk here. Toy falls to Darky, and Tempo Storm is bullying their way up mid, testing the aim of Mouse Baz without the right weapons, and Tempo Storm on fire. They're winning that 90% of the time. Yeah, they're looking really solid here. Insta able to take down Darky, so they do find two AKs for their effort. And they do have a flank play coming in in Fruit. Coming in through a palace, but it looks like Shazam already has a read on this as he's got to be staring tunnel vision on that player there. But Fruit able to take him down, so two on two as they still have a player coming from B, and that's Glorens. They cut off the rotate, only Stanislaw. He's gonna take the duel with Fruit, wins it. Now Imsta low HP, but they're both getting pretty low here as Imsta does not have a kit. And that is the biggest downside here as he would be much more in this round as now he's out of town. This is gonna be a little bit insult to injury. Stanislaw takes him down as he's hunting. Tempo, once again, put another round on the board. Like you suggested, they were thinking about saving for this one, but two players I think fought and now they, this is looking really bad here for Mouse Spaz. No real way to sugarcoat it. <laughs> right? I mean, the only silver lining here uh, for us not getting a good match, we might be able to catch the end of Keed Stars. Yeah! That's right. what I, I'm so sad we didn't get to catch that one. But we are witnessing a very well orchestrated tempo storm here, proving their superiority over Mouse Spaz. Coasting, gliding their way to victory. One player up down below. Demise, can he get anything done? No, it's going to be Rick's. Had those stats a bit more. Shazam. More frags. <laughs> oh, I didn't even catch that. Oh my god. Shazam. Channeling his. Like, I, I guess Shazam is like the Tarek of tempo. <laughs> sure, I can see it. Uh, Zimsta. He is going to go down to Shazam. Just uh, pre firing towards a ramp there. And, yep, that's going to be the end of the first half here as tempo dominant performance. Looking to take the second seed and make it through two bracket stages. And I do want to point your attention, if you guys didn't make a roster here for Alpha Draft, you probably should have. As, uh, honestly, even if you're just doing the free Battlegrounds, uh, it's honestly a lot of fun. Uh, I do uh, all the free ones. <laughs> That's usually what I'm going for. But there's a lot of money to be made. Uh, if you're a student of the game, you go to AlphaDraft.com. Check it out. And uh, my current roster for tonight, let's take a peek at how we're doing here. I have on my roster... How is uh, Zek doing? Zek is not doing so hot. So he was kind of my like lower uh, salaried player that I kind of had to shoot for. That, that was Zek for me. But I've got Shazam, Stanislaw, as well as Darky. And currently, those are three on top of the scoreboard here for that Temple Storm side. So good stuff there. I'm feeling confident about my lineup. But again, check out AlphaDraft.com if you are interested in making uh, some rosters of your own. And we actually did have a pre-show right before <laughs> all this went live. And we got some really good analysis from, of course, Laser Jesus. Yeah, good thing I didn't give any analysis of who I was picking for my team because I was trying to make a lot of room for my players and it was down to either Tempo Storm or Win Out. And I went with Tempo, or I went, no, Tempo Storm and, um, or Mouse Baz and Win Out. And I was trying to picture who was going to lose in a, in a uh, better fashion to Tempo Storm. And I went with Mouse Baz. I thought they were going to do better than Win Out. And that is going to net me a whole lot of negative points. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. unfortunate 50-50 guess for me, but uh, Tempo Storm here, two rounds to put it away.
But yeah, if you haven't gotten in on the alpha draft action, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. Strange stuff, but here comes Tempo Storm trying to retake in. They played pretty soft on the A bomb site. And now it trades one for one. Florence, wow, he lines up Zach. That was so sick. Jumps over the smoke, hits the instant shot. Now Mouse Bass, life on the line here. Florence drops Insta. Toy inside the smoke, tries to rush it out through the smoke, gets it done. Do they have any kits here? We do have one kit. Dan is on the bomb. Toy stays alive. They got to get on that bomb quickly. And they get it done. Mouse Bass. Uh, that was their last chance here. Second to last chance as they now are going to have Tech Nines to work with. But that is likely all she wrote. Temple Storm, 16 to 1. That's going to be a very nice scoreline to look at. Oh, yeah. Fantastic for Tempo as they're one round away from getting uh, their ticket into bracket stages. So that's good news for the Tempo Storm lineup as they're about to go 2 0 for uh, their group stuff here. Again, taking that win. Previous and now against most Spaz. So, obviously, Tempo, they're going to equip with whatever, or rather, uh, the T side and most Spaz going to equip with whatever they can in this round. It's going to give them tech nines across the board. Looks like they're going to focus a little bit on mid with Shazam. Not going to let them get any execution set up here. Actually, might be punished. Finally goes down. Darky able to capitalize, but it is a three on three. So, that's the best trade for the CT side that Rick's posted up in connector. Takes down another. Now it's only Fruit and Toy to keep this dream alive. And Toy taking the fight with Glorins. Can't get it done. Now Fruit remains still without a rifle. There's some at his feet here, but just wants to do it with Attack 9. That's going to be it. 16 to 1. Tempo Storm taking it. And everybody, let's see what Keatstars is up to.